Hello there. What is going on, everyone? We have got some really exciting stuff to look at today because we are looking at Cyberpunk Red Combat Zone from Monster Fight Club. We're going to be unboxing this and we're going to take a look at everything that comes inside this core set. This is a big box. It's pretty heavy, too. There's, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm excited to get it uh, out of the shrink wrap and onto the camera and into your into your screening devices so you can check it out. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing open. A little bit before I do that, though, a uh, big thanks to Monster Fight Club for sending this out. If you are interested, if you like what you see here, we're going to have links in the video description below so you can check this out. Uh, there has uh, just been a second printing, so if you've been trying to get a hold of this and haven't been able to get it yet, uh, you are in luck. This is your time. Uh, if you also, if you're big fans of Cyberpunk, definitely stay tuned because we are going to be doing more Cyberpunk coverage coming very very, very soon, so you won't want to miss out on that. But for now, let's take a look at what's inside the box for Cyberpunk Red Combat Zone from Monster Fight Club. All right, so we've got our box here. We're going to get the uh, shrink wrap undone, and uh, we're also going to start a new round of the giveaway. So if you guys uh, are new here to the channel, we do talk a lot about Star Wars tabletop games and uh, uh, miniatures tabletop games and science fiction tabletop games and uh, lately a lot about cyberpunk games, which is pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys the back of the box as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, very cool stuff. Uh, but we, yeah, we're doing, we're going to do a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. If you're just, uh, if you want to enter to win that, you just have to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Um, pretty cool. I am, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to check this out and get this table. Um, we have, we got a lot of stuff in here. A little flyer. There's lots of terrain. Monster Fight Club has so much terrain. It is, uh, it's, it's awesome. It's really awesome. It's all, all pre-painted. Uh, and then, of course, we've got um, Borderlands, the uh, Arena of Badassery in there, which is cool. We've got our rule book here. Um, so, full color. Uh, and this and this uses uh, this is, uses a really cool system, uh, the reaction system, which is very cool. We, we've got, we got to look at this gameplay at Gen Con. Uh, so, if you want to go back and check out our Gen Con footage, there was a demo uh, that we were given of the game, uh, and oh, look at that, we've got our little instructions here. Hey, you know what, I love the printed instructions. It's, I mean, that's very, very cool. Uh, we have some range tools here. The big things is is red, green, and yellow, um, uh, which is awesome. So we've got these, and these are, I, I like that it's, that it's see-through and clear. They are very thin, but uh, that also is gonna allow some flexibility to, to move over terrain a little bit. We've got, uh, Got our terrain here. Oh, look at this. So this is real thick cardboard. Wow, this is this is incredibly thick. So we're gonna make some real heavy duty, real heavy duty stuff out of these, which is super cool. Um, these are all uh, they're double sided too. Look at this. We got the graffiti on there. That is awesome. Uh, we've got our cautionary tape. We've got look like the windows. You can punch out the windows or leave the windows in. Oh, look at this. Like that is really cool. Uh, double sided. Oh, I love it. This feels so so real and lived in. We've got all of our tokens here on the very thick cardboard. So these are going to be nice, beefy tokens. Uh, I like it. I like it. And then we've got... Oh, we've got a game board. Oh, okay. So we've got a play mat. We don't have to provide our own play mat, which is awesome. We've got a whole game board here. Uh, and this also is uh, appears to be double-sided as well. So, oh, this is... It's a big... It's a big game board. Um, but yeah, this is like a two by four ish, something like that. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm digging it and digging it. We got that street level and then we got like two streets on the backside. Let me see if I can flip this thing over. All right. And we've got, uh, we've got a more of a crossroads design on the other side. So, all right, we'll get more of that, that once we get everything set up. Um, all right, we've got, we've got dice. Okay, so this game uses a, a reaction system. There's there's three main colors of dice, but there's actually a fourth. So you've also got black dice. Um, but there's, uh, oh, there's purple dice too. What? I don't know what the purple dice are for yet. I gotta read, I, okay, this, this, this is the difference between an unboxing and a full review, right? We've got yellow dice, green dice, and red dice. And the cool thing about this, um, and I'm thinking back to like all, all our time at Gen Con, um, like red dice only have six sides, so they're, you know, but then they, what is, we got D8s 
for the yellow dice. So yellow, like if you can if you can do yellow, that's gonna be better than red. And even better than that, if you can roll a green dice, uh, that's even better than yellow. Like you know, these are d12s. So very cool stuff. Um, so our, our our d10s are black, and then we have d4s for purple, which is cool. We've got clips. These are gonna be for the terrain. Uh, we'll uh, try to put some of that together. I haven't uh, haven't messed with these yet, but. Uh, but they're also, they're not on a spruce. You don't have to clip them out. They're pre-clipped, which is really nice for folks who don't want to have to pull out sprue cutters. There's a couple extra bags in here, too, which is going to be really helpful for organizing and getting your tokens going. By the way, this is an excellent uh, an excellent insert. You've got this going right here. Oh, and we've got, look at this. We've got, we got some more crates. Now, I've got some other Monster Fight Club uh, shipping containers around here, which is going to make an excellent uh, augmentation to the, our terrain here. And we've got... All of the minis. Look at all of the minis. Okay, let's take a look at the minis. We've got cards, too. We're going to take a look at the cards. We're going to take a look at the minis. Uh, let's let's take a closer look at these. All right, so we've got all of our, um, our cards out. We're going to go ahead and put uh, these container together. Uh, well, this container together. Uh, and these go together real easy, which is super cool. And uh, they, they, have, they have this interlocking system where... This will stack on top of another container. So if you do get any of the uh, shipping containers, uh, this can kind of, you can build your own structures and, uh, and buildings and, and such uh, with these, which is also very cool. And they, they're real easy to get together. Um, it's just as simple as you see me do right here. And we can put our doors in also. Am I doing it, is it this way? No, it's this way, isn't it? Yeah, boom, boom, there we go. There's the one door. And here's our other door, just like, what did I get? There it is, just like that. And there's our shipping area. This is an awesome big piece of terrain right there, fully compatible with the rest of the Monster Fight Club stuff. We've also got uh, some of our unit cards. Let's take a closer look at these. We've got some Berserkers, we've got Crushers, we've got Flensers, we've got ranged specialists, or different types of ranged specialists. This one has a green die versus a yellows. Um, some rippers. Oh, I guess it's kind of like an elite versus a basic one, I suppose. Oh, you know, that's kind of kind of interesting. Um, warlords. Oh, three different types of warlords. Um, oh, that's cool. And then we've got uh, objectives. We've got objective cards, uh, which are we're going to learn more about as we play these. Like, I have an understanding, uh, a rough understanding of how the uh, base combat system works, but um, as far as we got Tiger Claws and Maelstrom in here, which is pretty cool. So we were, I think we were just basically looking at Maelstrom just right there. Um, but we're also going to look at the Tiger Claws. Um, so there we go. We've got some of the Tiger Claws. Uh, I think these are the guys that I used in the, in the demo. Um, so very cool. I love the art on these. It's, uh, it's super cool. And now you are playing pretty much like generic characters so far. Um, I do think there are uh, named characters available, but like for just to getting you used to the game... You know, you, of course, you can name somebody whoever you want. You can be like, well, this, you know, this uh, Waka Gashira's name is, you know, is, is um, you know, Joe. And there you go. <laughs> and then here we have our objectives for Tiger Claws. Um, some cool stuff. We've got lots of gear cards. Um, and these are going to be uh, faction dependent. So we've got uh, Maelstrom gear and Tiger Claw gear. And these are going to give you uh, all kinds of stats about them. Their rarity, I believe that's how many you can include in a build. So if something is a rarity of one, that's basically like it's it's very rare, it's unique. You can only have one of them. Uh, if it's a rarity of two, you can have two in a build. Um, a lot of stuff is rarity one, it seems. So that's so you can't um, necessarily just like find something that's like really strong and just put it on everybody. Um, and this is our Maelstrom stuff. So we've got lots of stuff like heavy machine gun or oh, a ripper dock kit. Oh, that gives you the ability to heal. So, okay, a lot of cool ways to customize your build with this. We've also got uh, these uh, double-sided cards here. Um, I, these ones I have to, I'll have to look in to see exactly what function they're going to have. But, uh, but they obviously are tied to the uh, the red, yellow, and green um, system. And then we have uh, these. Uh, what looks like um, maybe objective or gear cards as well. Um, oh, okay. Oh, this is, uh, so pretty cool stuff. Oh, med these are kind of some kind of status effects, it looks like. 
Uh, very cool. So we've got to, got to dig deeper into it. Uh, but everything's very easy to read, very clear and easy to read text on these as well. Let's, uh, let's put some of these models together. We've got, a, we got a, lot of, a lot of plastic to look at also. We've got uh, we've got bases. We got a lot of bases here. These are all pretty standard, uh, pretty standard bases. And then we have our models. And the models don't look particularly difficult to assemble either. I know some folks uh, are a little reluctant, but look at this. It's it's almost one piece all together. So it's just a, wow. And this the detail here is really good. Look at look at look at that detail on this piece. It's so uh, so that's gonna be so much fun to paint with all these raised armor uh, surfaces. Oh my goodness, wow, you saw a lot of detail on these. This must be Maelstrom. He looks like a Maelstrom guy. He doesn't look like a tiger claw. Yeah, look at uh, look at the expression in some of these poses. Uh, and, and again, you, what, are you, what are you gonna have to put on, a head? That's it? So that's not really a whole lot of assembly that you really need to, you really need to do, you know? So that's, that's very cool. You, not a whole lot of clipping. Look, this guy's almost, Almost a single piece. So, very, very nice looking miniatures. This is great. These are really, really good looking. I didn't, I didn't realize how how good these were. So this is exciting. Um, these guys have some great, great miniatures. I can't wait to get some primer on these eventually. But I gotta, I gotta put them together. That's not gonna be too hard. We've got. Uh, let's take a look at our tiger claws. Real quick. Try not to mix them up too much. There we go. Oh man, look at that. Look at that sword. That's a cool sword. It's kind of like double bladed right there. Awesome. This guy is missing his arms at his head. He's been attacked by the sword. You know, that's that's what happened to the, this guy came out and chopped up everybody's bits. No, we've got we've got some heads here and then some hands and stuff like that. And again, that rule book uh, or that, that uh, assembly guide has all of the stuff. Now it seems like you could probably put whatever heads you wanted on stuff, but if you want to do it right, you want to follow the instructions. I love it, and it is just super simple. It's like a, it's like a two pager that's got all of your little reminders of what goes where right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these things put together. All right, so these go together real easy. Uh, I'm just looking at some of them. I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous once assembled. Uh, no problem at all putting these together. Um, you do want to uh, kind of, you know, when you clip like the bottoms of the, of the feet, you want to like kind of scrape them off and make sure they're nice and flush. One thing I noticed that's really cool, uh, like as a bonus, you have some different head options. So like, like this lady, you can have her head down or her hair kind of like on fire like so. Um, and that's just a really, really cool uh, extra bonus, and there's so much detail with these minis. It's absolutely insane. So really, really nice looking. I love the fact that they're giving you an extra sculpt. All right, so we have these guys put together, and they are awesome. I actually really, really like these guys. Look at blue. So these poses are super groovy. Super, super cool. Um, very action-y poses. You have a lot of options too, like the heads go in, you can kind of swivel them, you can have them pointed one way or another. You have a lot of extra, uh, a lot of extra options uh, for, for putting like arms on. Uh, do you want them like, you know, just punching? Do you want him like shooting? Uh, do you want this gun, that gun? There's a, it's an optional hammer you can put here. A um, lot of cool stuff, a lot of really cool stuff. Um, these guys are, are just, are, are incredible. Uh, really, really like uh, the Maelstrom design specifically. Uh, they're they're definitely one of the most noteworthy and eye catching uh, clans uh, gangs that are out there. Um, they're just, it's just they're monsters, man. They're just they do so much, so much tech. You know, uh, they kind of almost overload it with like you know, like look at this guy's face. You know. Like it's, that's, that's just so, so cool. All right, and so the last thing I wanna talk about is the terrain. This actually went together real easy and is actually a lot of fun to build. The real thick cardboard, uh, this is awesome. It's so thick and it feels really, really sturdy. It works into these clips really, really well. Uh, you can put these clips together, you know, the same way to just create an even corner or you can sort of augment them like so, like, you know, back and forth and back and forth to create uh, some of the, the like, the multi-part multi, uh, multi -part, uh, stuff that we have, have here. 
Um, now, I, I, I left gaps in mine. There's definitely enough to put them all together. I'm just trying to get it together really quickly for the video. Uh, but you, you can definitely kind of line them up so where there's no, there's no gaps. I just was, I was cutting corners because I wanted to kind of get it all fixed out. Um, and you won't have gaps like that if you just do. I didn't use all of the pieces, and I probably should have. So lesson learned the first time putting this array together. It should look a little bit closer to this, where it's just like seamless uh, and, and goes all the way across. So that's very, very cool. Uh, we've got lots of little bits. Uh, we've got, uh, and not everything uses the clips. There's some that just go together normally. So we've got our barricades. We've got uh, lots of scatter terrain doors, and we can, we can pop, potch the doors out. We can leave the doors in. Uh, we can use whichever side of the terrain we want. If we want the, the graffiti side uh, on the out, or if we want the cleaner side on the out, uh, we've got lots of little scatter terrain bits. And uh, of course, with the double sided map, also is really, really cool. All right, so that is going to do it for Cyberpunk Red Combat Zone. Big thanks to uh, Monster Fight Club and Aro Talsorian Games for sending this out, making this uh, unboxing possible. Very cool stuff. Very excited to show you guys more. We're going to be uh, digging in. We'll be looking at some other gangs soon. We're also going to be looking at Cyberpunk Edge Runners. So very cool stuff. Stay tuned. Click that subscribe button. Don't forget to enter to win that giveaway. Click that bell for alerts. Uh, links in the video description too if you want to check out more about Cyberpunk Combat Zone. Uh, and also if you want to check out my social media stuff, Discord, all that great stuff, it's in the video description below. Uh, I am super excited about this game. It looks incredible and I love these miniatures. They are just gorgeous. Look at this. I think this guy's my favorite. I think this guy's my favorite and I'm going to name him, I'm going to name him Crabok Jr. Because uh, juniors would be ironic for a guy so big and massive. And I think, uh, unless you got a better name, let me know in the comments below. All right, that's going to do it for today. I will talk to you later on. Thank you so much for watching. Big thanks to my patrons as well. You guys are awesome and help make this whole channel possible. Uh, may the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. The spice must flow. So say we all. And always wash your socks. If you're interested in more cyberpunk stuff, because we're going to have a lot more cyberpunk coming up from you. Uh, well, coming up from you. You're going to be making the content. I'm just here to watch.